right. So it's the uh, first weekend in March. There's absolutely zero snow and there hasn't been for uh, a couple of weeks. So we're definitely getting an early spring. Um, I'm not at my camp today. I just bushwhacked through the woods off trail. I find a nice little uh, a brook here. So I'm going to set up camp for a couple of hours and do a uh, Siberian fire lay. And this is why you almost uh, rarely see me felling live trees. You know, you run around the forest long enough and you're going to find more than ample firewood to uh, process without having to take a live one. This one again, it's a nice birch and it's a good 20-30 feet long. So this is what I'm going to use for the uh, for the Siberian fire lay. Fire lays are primarily used in survival situations where you need a fire to, to burn hot and, and long and, and self-sustain itself over the course of a night. So for this uh, purposes today, since I'm only out for you know six, seven hours in the bush, this is going to be a mini version. So you've got a base log right here. You've got your logs on top of the base log and they're hanging out and jutting out. Underneath here, I'm going to put my uh, kindling just like this. So you've got kindling, base, the uh, top logs up here. I'm going to gather up some some birch and some usnea, some twigs, get this going, and uh, we'll have a good example of what a Siberian firelight is. And just remember, if, if you were in the bush and this popped in your mind that this is something you should do to survive, you'd probably want to go uh, much more scale, larger. Uh, it's been going about 20 minutes now. This fire is not going anywhere. It's, it's here to stay and I could probably keep feeding this all day long and adding uh, new logs as they burn off. This is something I could easily keep going all night. And again, if, um, if I was going to be here all night, I'd, I would have scaled it and gone larger. Um, but I'm impressed, you know, just to feed it periodically and this is it Siberian uh, fire lay I've still got some coffee and uh, breakfast to cook up so I'm gonna throw that on shortly and get it going
we've got a little uh, a little DIY oven action going on here now. I've got some twigs underneath and my pan propped up on top so I can finish combining the uh, eggs with the beans. And it looks like it's resulting in a little uh, oven effect, which is awesome. And here's breakfast. Baked beans with uh, three eggs, cracked on top, tossed it on the fire. Got the uh, beans and the eggs mixed together now. It does not look pretty, but it, it tastes delicious. I've done it a few times before. I don't know if you could see that. Almost looks like a, a goulash. I've got the coffee pot transferred over to the fire, so I'm a couple of minutes away from pouring myself a cup of coffee. And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, Siberian fire lay, I'm, I'm super impressed. It was really easy to get going. I mean, I just took uh, one log, maybe 9 to 12 feet long, sectioned it up into four pieces. And I've fed it underneath here a couple of times, but, but that's pretty much it. I mean, the, the bed of coals here are still going really strong. The uh, base log is still going really strong. And the logs are still burning up top here. And it's been about an hour, hour and a half. This would be super easy to keep going all night. And, and like I mentioned earlier, uh, if this was a survival situation, you'd want to go much larger so it throws off uh, more heat and maintains itself longer um, so i'm just going to sit by the brook here have my coffee enjoy the breakfast and um, and head home and i hope you enjoyed my interpretation of a uh, siberian fire lay cheers